So they say a picture tells a thousand words. And if that's true, in today's video, we're gonna talk about how your Amazon listing can tell thousands and thousands of conversion driving, profit producing words with your listing images. It's gonna help you build your business faster, sell more products, launch more products globally, and help you get to your goals faster. So let's get into it. Welcome back to the channel. If you're a returning visitor, thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. If you are here for the first time, welcome. My name is Ben. I'm a full-time brand builder, founder of brandbuilderuni.com, where we love to help people build lives they love and businesses they own. And I hope that this video is going to help you take one step closer to doing that. The top of conversation is Amazon listing images. I'm going to go through for you a formula that we use that works 50% of the time, all the time. That doesn't make sense. And everything that I'm talking through today is in this ebook here, uh, which is our Amazon listing playbook uh, that you can literally go through and check off, it goes through our four stage process for creating, testing, all that kind of stuff for creating a listing on Amazon. If you wanna grab that, you can get it in the link in the description below for free. It's got like a checklist at the end as well. So you can literally check things off as you're building out your first Amazon listing and, uh, and hopefully you find that helpful so you can grab that below. Also stick around to the end because I'm gonna be talking about about how you can use what we're talking about in this video with Amazon listing images to actually help you in your product research. So if you're just starting out, you're trying to find a product to sell on Amazon, this will be a real uh, little hack that you can use to help find products that are potentially profitable to sell on Amazon. So stick around for that. Okay, so it's no secret that uh, selling on Amazon is different to how it was four or five years ago when I first got into it. There's things have changed. Back then, your Amazon listing images, the idea of infographics was only just begun to talk about. There was still widespread amount of sellers that were just loading up six images of a product in six different angles on a white background and still selling a bunch on Amazon. Whereas these days, uh, pretty much every single product you see is gonna have some form of infographic, so it's not enough just to throw up colorful pictures or lifestyle images of your product. You need to think through the purpose behind each and every image that you have on your Amazon listing. And my hope is to help you do exactly that today with some examples of live Amazon listings. And I'm going to break those down for you. So depending on your uh, marketplace and your category, it may uh, differ how many actual image slots you have on Amazon. For most people right now, if you have a listing video, which I highly recommend, recommend I've made uh, videos on videos about that on my channel which you can grab uh, on the channel if you could do have a video on your listing you're gonna have six slots one of those is gonna be taken up by the main image now we're not gonna spend loads of time talking about the main image today because it's more the sub image sort of formula that I want to talk about but of course your main image is critically important because it needs to attract the click it's one of the only things really that's gonna drive clicks onto your listing when people find it in the search results so you need to make sure that it is uh, eye-catching it's going to pop you know use colors in it from your product of course you know the actual product has to be on a white background i know there are some sellers that don't have their product on a white background and get away with it somehow uh, but it, TOS, Amazon Terms of Service, your main image needs to feature just your product on a white background. However, of course, you can be creative with that. If your product has parts in it or multiple components, you can spread them out, spell things out, shape things out, you know, get creative with it because if it just shows your product is within TOS, but it's gonna pop out, it's gonna stand out, it's gonna attract that click. Good little hack for you on this before we move on to the sub images is uh, get your designer or yourself whoever's doing it to create some options for your main image and literally just get a little image of that search for your main search term your main keyword on amazon and just hover your image over the listing results and see whether you feel like it stands out enough to attract that click okay so on to the sub images now the first type of uh, image that i'm going to suggest that you use we call this our uh, image creation form Formula. Now, of course, uh, formula sounds like only this works. Uh, maybe it, there is a, a better name for it. But for some people, I know you like a, a real clear framework that you can literally just copy and paste into your context. Some people, though, this is going to be a little bit of a launch pad, give you some ideas, give you something to think about, and you're going to go in your own direction with it. And that's totally fine. I'm not saying only this way works, but this is a great starting structure if you're just beginning. First two or three images or sub images after your main image, I'm gonna to suggest to you should be benefit 
images. And now, uh, if you've watched my channel for any length of time, you'll have heard me talk about the difference between features and benefits. Features being what your product does and benefits being what your product does for the customer. As private label brand builders, we can get so focused on the features because we spend time, effort, energy. Uh, we bang our head against the wall talking to suppliers in the Far East trying to get what we want out of our product. And then we get the final uh, version of it and we're proud of it. These features that we've created are so awesome. But the customer doesn't care about the blood, sweat and tears you put into it. What they care about ultimately when you boil it down is how it impacts their life. So it's really important that we do draw out these benefits. Like I said, uh, the, the world of images on Amazon has changed a lot. So we need to actually make sure that these images position our product as best as possible. Your images are going to be one of your main conversion aspects for most people, especially those on mobile. They're going to see those images really early, early along, swipe through them and instantly get an impression of whether your product meets their need. And that's why it's so important in those first two or three images to clearly define the benefits. Now, in terms of what the image uh, should look like, and I'm going to show you some examples in a minute. This example here is probably a little bit outdated. Um, you know, definitely some better ones that I'll show you now. But the, the idea behind these benefit images is it clearly states that, that the benefit statement, the power statement, the key aspect of what we're trying to communicate. So this skincare product, it hydrates the skin. And then underneath, you see that the benefit here so you can feel fresh every day, right? The, 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 the feature is that it hydrates your skin. The benefit, feel fresh every day, right? And then it's got some text down here. This is uh, one of the things I would probably just change with this image. Uh, just one big title with a description like that is usually enough if the image is also clear and shows uh, what you're trying to communicate. You know, again, picture tells a thousand words, right? And actually the mistake I see people make too often is they're trying to use too many words in these images. Actually let the picture tell the story, right? Let, let the picture tell the words. And so uh, these words, if you were going to use them, I would make them much bigger now because of the prevalence of mobile shopping. Uh, you know, those images, those uh, those words need to be much bigger. I would try and limit the amount of words you're using on one image to honestly 15 to 20. Even 20 is a little bit high. Make sure though, if you're going to use th that many words, you make the text nice and big so it's nice and easy for people to see. Again, I'll show you some examples in a Minute. So call out the benefits. Yes, highlight the features. You know, this product has this feature here, but remember to include the benefit in that. So uh, then the next image that we would recommend people use at least somewhere in the image setup is a trust image. Show the consumer that they can trust your brand in some way. That may be a review image, which Amazon is changing their terms of service all the time and it does look a little bit gray now whether you can actually do that if you want to be abiding by the uh, explicit nature of the terms of service but loads of people still do it so if you do do it do it at your own risk but that is something that people have done a lot in the past but even if you don't use a live review from your Amazon reviews you can always use something like this satisfaction guaranteed uh, show people why they can trust in your brand you know x amount of people love our brand as seen on if you You've been in, uh, you know, publicity. Anything like that that can improve the trust in the transaction is going to help you drive conversions. Image number six, something that we always try and use if it is, uh, if it is applicable, if it makes sense. Don't push it too hard if it doesn't. But if it does, a comparison image highlighting the clear differences between your product and your competition. Some people would say, well, don't highlight the competition. But honestly, Amazon is doing that for you, whether you do it or not. All around your listing, above below to the right to the left they've got sponsored product placements and so people are going to see the competition anyway and so if you can call that out and show the consumer why your product is head and shoulders above the competition and then finally we usually round it out the last one with what we call a utility image again of course depending on the type of product you're selling you may want to flip this around a little bit a utility image would be something like uh, how to diagrams how you use the product dimensions quantities other key aspects of the product that really are going to help the the customer understand what it is about your product that's so great of course if you have a very technical product if there's 
there's lots to describe in those kind of aspects. You may want to have a couple of utility images and drop the comparison image or drop the trust image. But what I would do if I was you is I would get three or four benefit images created, one or two trust images, one or two comparison images, two or three utility images, get 10 to 12 images created, and then always be testing them. Test the first six on your listing, do that for a couple of weeks, then add a different one in and test that and for a couple of weeks and then look at the numbers, see how that affects things and really keep testing and iterating from there. The ultimate Amazon listing is never finished. It's always being iterated, always being improved so you can keep driving more conversions and improving your profit. So that is kind of like the structure, your benefit images, your trust images, your utility images and your comparison images that we always include in some format in the new listings we created. And uh, let's just look at a few examples just to show you here uh, what the different versions of these are. Now, Anchor are someone that I always point to as being a great example of good imagery. They, of course, have really high quality lifestyle imagery in these sub images. Obviously, just the main image, really sharp with a white background, but then their sub images just show the product in action. They show, uh, this would be like a utility image showing the, the different materials, just showing how what it's like inside. You can get this done, by the way, this is not a photo, this is like a 3D render that you can get uh, you know, easily done on Fiverr, that kind of thing. And, uh, and then it's got some what I would call more benefit images. These are benefit images, but what I love about what Anchor does is they really minimize on the text in use. So it's really clear. It doesn't take too long to fully understand what this product does. And they're really smart with their benefit statements, right? This The feature is that it's 20,000, whatever that is. Like I'm not, I'm not an electrician. Whatever that, like amps or hertz or Miller amp hertz, yeah, I, I don't know. But whatever that is, that's the feature, right? That's the amount of power that it can charge, produce. Uh, uh, anyway, that's the feature. But power for days, uh, it's kind of a feature, but also a benefit, right? Because it, it makes you understand that I know if I get this product, I'm not just going to have 20,000 mega amper hertz. <laughs> I'm going to have power for days. That The customer knows what the benefit is for them. Really smart. Universal compatibility. Uh, again, it talks about the feature, Anchor's Intelligent Device de Detection Technology. Most people would use that and, and major on that, whereas obviously Anchor are communicating the actual benefit to the customer, which is the universal compatibility, backing that up also with the images, not just the words that are telling the story, but these images, it shows all of the compatibilities there. Again, great, great image. And then I love this one, Adventure Tier Tough. Uh, you, they're showing you it's certified by the Anchor Labs one meter drop test feature of the product. But then you know the benefit is that I can go and adventure with this product and it's going to stay safe. So a really great example of some benefit driven infographics uh, that really do convert. And it's no surprise that Anchor continued to grow. Last time I checked, they were doing something like $500 million a year in sales, continue to grow at a rapid pace. So uh, it's a really, really great example to follow there. Uh, here's an example of one that, again, communicates the benefits really well. A lovely, just engaging image here, really nice image. But when a lot of people would just talk about the features of, you know, a year's supply or just show a, a lifestyle image without any more info, this one here, it says small, easy to swallow vegan tablet. So you're including the fact that it's small and vegan, but again, you're communicating the benefit to the customer that it's easy to swallow. So instantly, they're, they're going to know I'm not going to have a problem swallowing these tablets okay add to cart boom i'm in next up is a brand called sadara um, which is a brand that a uh, fellow youtuber tom wang who i've interviewed on my channel before he built this brand and sold it recently for multiple seven figures he tells the story on his channel definitely check it out he's a legend in the space got some great information and uh, this is a great example of a comparison image sadara by the way their branding their infographics uh you know top of the game really really good i love what they've done with these infographics but it's this one in particular that i wanted to show you because it's it's a, a great example of a comparison image. You've got their brand down the left-hand side and then other brands down this side. So that's one way of doing it. Or you could do, um, you know, the, the the kind of the feature or the benefit here and then have your logo and other brands logo and have ticks and X's. Or you can just do a straight up comparison like that. This is, this is easy to create. I know they would have done this in like Photoshop and put a lot of time into the font and the colors and stuff like that. But you could also make this in Canva for free yourself, right? It doesn't have to cost you an arm and a leg to create this. 
So, uh, you know, really, really good example of an image there. Uh, another one uh, is a, a good example here is a utility image. This is what we would call a utility image. So the Anchor and the Vitamin B12 were good examples of your benefit images. Your Sadara skincare one is a good example of your comparison image. Now, this is a great example of a utility image because it's showing you how you actually use this product, the context of how much dosage you're going to need. This is going to help someone know how much they need to order, whether they feel it's going to be cost effective. So again, good buying decisions that you're going to help people make with this utility image. So a few examples there of what I would deem as, as good infographics that are going to help convert uh, your products on Amazon. Like I said, uh, you know, following that kind of structure of big, bold title, a little bit of text, less than 20 words on here, nice, big, bold text. So it's easy to read on mobile. It's really going to help you drive conversions. A little bit of an extra added bonus for you here. If you're worried about Chinese sellers coming into the Amazon space, which sometimes people get, you know, their heads in a spin about, have a look at this <clears throat> Amazon brand, clearly Amazon, this is crazy, right? This is an Amazon brand. Clearly, Amazon have bought this brand, Umi. They bought them out, so seen them selling well on Amazon. They bought them out, and uh, and they just haven't bothered to upgrade their infographics. And so, if you want to look at an example of how not to do infographics, here they are. I mean, unbelievable, hey? Anyway, so if you thought that, uh, you know, Chinese sellers are going to come in and dominate Amazon. Well, certainly not yet anyway. Okay, and just to finish up with a product research hack that could help you find your next profitable product. If you're using product research software, I always use Helium 10, for which there's a discount you can grab below, and I would highly recommend their black box tool for product research. What you can do, and I know you can do it in Helium 10, maybe you can do it in some others, I'm not sure, but in one of the filters, you can filter for the amount of images in that listing. And if you were to put a maximum of say four images, that's gonna show you all of the products that meet your other criteria, but also have a maximum of four images in the listing. Theory being that if they're able to drive revenue with a limited amount of images, imagine if you took the formula that we've used today, created some highly engaging images, and used all of the slots that are available to you to help you tell more of a story about your product. Imagine how many sales that you could actually take in that marketplace. If they can do it with a limited amount of not great images, imagine how you could do with a full amount of great images. So try that product research hack, see if it helps you find some more profitable product opportunities. And don't forget to grab your Amazon listing optimization guide for free down in the link below. I hope this has been of some help to you. If it has, I would love it if you'd smash that like button. Let me know down in the comments what you thought, any questions you have, anything you disagree with. Let's fight about it in the comments below. And I hope this actually does though, help you drive some more conversions, drive some more profit, build a brand you own, build a life you love, and uh, move on with your goals. All right, I'll see you in the next video real soon.